Welcome to this very quick tutorial on how to make individual meshes from all the mesh faces of a mesh. And probably the main purpose of this tutorial is to learn a little bit more about C Sharp scripting in Grasshopper. So we're going to make a C Sharp component to do this for us. And as far as I know, there doesn't exist a Grasshopper component to do this. So this is basically a C Sharp tutorial, but you'll also get out of it this very useful component. I use this component all the time. And it's helpful, for example, if you want to apply different colors to all the faces on a mesh. An easy way to do that is just to get a list of meshes that are all the faces and then apply the colors to those items in that list. And so first I'll just zoom into the perspective view. And I have a mesh already here. So you can use any mesh for this tutorial. It doesn't matter. I just brought one from a different tutorial that I was working on. And I'm just going to get rid of the grid because it is a little distracting. So let's go ahead and get a C sharp component. And we'll only need one input and we'll call it mesh. And the type hint is going to be, of course, mesh down there. So this will be a very quick tutorial. And the script I'm going to use in this tutorial comes almost entirely from a script presented in one of the tutorials by Jose Luis Garcia del Castillo Lopez. He's a professor at Harvard's Graduate School Design, and he has this YouTube channel called Parametric Camp. If you haven't already seen it, I highly recommend it. It's so great. I came across, I first came across some videos he had posted early into the pandemic in the fall of 2020. He was posting videos from the course he was teaching at Harvard GSD. And then before I knew it, he had this whole computational design channel on YouTube. And I appreciate it so much. And I really appreciate the earlier videos that, that he was posting and, and following it up with this YouTube channel is really amazing. So if you haven't checked it out, again, absolutely go here. There are so many videos and so much to learn here. So back to our C sharp component, we can go ahead and pl plug in our mesh and then inside the component, we're just going to write a, a little custom function down here. And we'll make it a public function that returns a mesh and we can call it mesh from face because all this function is going to do is find one face and make a mesh out of that face. And we'll need just two inputs. We'll take in a mesh and call it mesh and an integer that we'll call face index. And this is going to be exactly what it sounds like. This will be the index. This will be the index from the face list from the mesh that we're taking in that we want to make a mesh out of. And then we'll put our brackets. So the first thing we can do down here is make an empty mesh called M equals new mesh, oops, can't type today. And then we'll make another variable that we'll call face. That's just going to be our mesh face. So from the input mesh, we'll say mesh dot faces. And then we just need to put in our face index. So we'll copy this. So now face is just the face from the input mesh that we want to make a mesh out of. And then we need to grab the vertices associated with that face and add them to our new mesh M. And we'll assume, we'll start by assuming that this new mesh or that the face that we're grabbing is a triangle. We'll assume that most of these are triangle faces, but then we'll account for the possibility that it's a quad mesh or that this particular face has four vertices in just a minute. So first we'll just say M dot vertices dot add. And we'll add the vertex from our input mesh. So we'll say mesh, this is our input mesh, dot vertices. And we got to get that index. And we can get that index by typing face dot a. So this right here is just giving us a list of all of our mesh vertices. And we can go to face, which is our, our variable up here, our mesh face variable. And if we say face.a, it's going to give us the integer that is the index of that mesh vertex, the first one anyway. And then we also have to grab b and c. And in the case of a face with four vertices, then we'll get d as well. But first, let's just copy this twice more. And we'll get face.b and face.c. And then we can say if 
then we need to check to see if this particular face is a triangle or a quad. So there's a Boolean property we can call. We can just say face dot is triangle. And this is just going to be true or false. It'll be true if it's a triangle. Pretty straightforward. Then our brackets. So if it is a triangle, then we'll just say m dot faces dot add face. And to add a face, we just need to add in the integers of the vertices that are already part of the mess, mesh. So right now we have three vertices that are already part of the, the mesh, and their index numbers are 0 and 1 and 2. So now we have a face that goes from 0 to 1 to 2. Else, in the case that it's a quad, First thing we need to do is add another vertex. It's going to be face.d is the integer of that vertex, or is the index of that vertex, that will transfer from our input mesh to our new mesh. And then we'll do this again, but we need to add one more vertex. And then we can just return our mesh. So that's the whole function. And we'll just call it on every single face in this mesh. So we need to do a for loop and iterate through all of those mesh faces. So up here, we'll just make a new list of meshes that we can call meshes equals new list. Then we can make our for loop for int i equals zero i is less than mesh.faces.count i++. So we're just grabbing our input mesh here and counting all the faces, iterating through each one of those faces. Then each time we can make a new mesh, we'll call it m again. And then we need to call this function that we just made. And our input is going to be our input mesh and i will be the face index, and then each time we'll make that new mesh and we'll add it to our list here. And then we can return or put through the output a, we'll put our list called meshes. Let's see if this works. So it looks like it did. If I hover over here I can see that now there are two 1,700 meshes. And if I hover over this one, the input mesh, you can see that there were 2,700 faces, but now there are, there's just a list of 2,700 meshes. So that seems to have worked. Let's get a series and a list length. And let's get um, a subtraction. We'll say 0 less than 2700. I guess that's a weird way to do this, but so we'll do that and then we'll get a list item. Hide that. So now that's all of our mesh faces, and you can see we're getting fewer and fewer. We're getting fewer and fewer. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for, so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.